a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. 2010 Commonwealth Games The 2010 Commonwealth Games, officially known as the 19th Commonwealth Games, were held in Delhi, India, from 3 to 14 October 2010. A total of 6,081 athletes from 71 Commonwealth nations and dependencies competed in 21 sports and 272 events, making it the largest Commonwealth Games to date. It was also the largest international multi-sport event to be staged in Delhi and India, eclipsing the Asian Games in 1951 and 1982. The opening and closing ceremonies were held at the Awahalal Nehru Stadium, the main stadium of the event. It was the first time that the Commonwealth Games were held in India, and the second time they were held in Asia after Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in 1998. It was also the first time a Commonwealth Republic hosted the Games, second in a country not presently headed by British monarch, since Malaysia in 1998. The official mascot of the Games was Shera and the official song of the Games, Gio Uto Bardo Gito, was composed by celebrated Indian musician A. R. Arman. Preparation for the Games received widespread international media attention, with criticism being leveled against the organizers for the slow pace of work as well as issues related to security and hygiene. However, all member nations of the Commonwealth of Nations participated in the event, except Fiji, which is suspended from the Commonwealth, and Tokelau, which didn't send a team. In spite of threats of boycotts and athlete withdrawals, the internationally acclaimed opening ceremony improved the image of the Games, and dispelled negative notions surrounding them with many observers remarking that they began on an apprehensive note, but were an exceptional experience with a largely positive ending. The president of the International Olympic Committee, Jacques Krog, said that India had made a good foundation for a future Olympics bid, which was reiterated by the Australian Minister of Sports. Commonwealth Games Federation Chief Mike Fennell stated that, Delhi delivered a fantastic Games. Some observers accused sections of the media of bias, unfair expectations, and negative reporting. The final medal tally was led by Australia. The host nation India achieved its best performance ever at the Games, finishing second overall. Host Selection Delhi was selected as the host city of the 2010 Commonwealth Games on 14 November 2003 during the CGF General Assembly in Montego Bay, Jamaica defeating bid from Hamilton, Canada. India's bid motto was New Frontiers and Friendships. India shifted the balance in its favor in the second round of voting with a promise that it would provide 100,000 US dollars to each participating country, along with air tickets, boarding, lodging and transport. The successful 2003 Afro-Asian Games held in Hyderabad was also seen as having shown that India has the resources, infrastructure, and technical know-how to stage a big sporting event. Delhi bid for the 1990 and 1994 Commonwealth Games, but lost to Auckland and Victoria respectively. The Hamilton bid was Canada's attempt to hold the Games for the fifth time. Organizing Committee The organization of CWG 2010 was beset by delays. In January 2010, the Indian Olympic Association Vice Chairman Rajaran Deer Singh expressed concern that Delhi was not up to speed in forming and organizing its Games Committee and, following a 2009 Indian government report showing two-thirds of venues were behind schedule. Commonwealth Games Federation President Mike Fennell stated that the slow progress of preparations represented a serious risk to the event. Singh also called for a revamp of the Games Organizing Committees. Janelle Singh, a former Secretary of the Government of India, was appointed as the Chief Executive Officer and Indian Olympic Association President Suresh Kalmadi was appointed as head of the committee. In spite of delays and the corruption cases levied on the organizers, commentators stated that they were confident that India will successfully host the Games and do so on time. At the launch of the Queen's Baton Relay in October 2009, the Business Club of India was formed through the partnership of the organizing committee the Confederation of Indian Industry, and the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. The BCI was formed to both market the Games, and promote Indian business interests internationally. Costs The initial total budget estimated by the Indian Olympic Association in 2003 for hosting the Games was, in 2010, however, 
the official total budget soon escalated to an estimated, a figure which excluded non-sports-related infrastructure development. Business Today magazine estimated that the games cost. The 2010 Commonwealth Games were reportedly the most expensive Commonwealth Games ever. It was also the second most expensive international multi-sport event ever held in Asia, after the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, China. Transport A four-lane flyway, 2.2 kilometers stretch from Lodi Road to Trans Yamuna, linking the Games Village to the Awohalal Nyeru Stadium was constructed which reduced the travelling time between the village and the stadium to six minutes. In response to concerns over the large number of trains that pass by the Delhi Metropolitan Region daily, construction of road under bridges and over bridges along railway lines have been completed. To expand road infrastructure, flyovers, cloverleaf flyovers, and bridges were built. To improve links for the games and city in general, Road widening projects were finished, with an emphasis being placed on expanding national highways. To improve traffic flow on existing roads, plans were made to make both the inner and outer ring roads signal-free. To support its commitment to mass transport, nine corridors have been identified and were constructed as high-capacity bus systems. Six of these corridors were expected to be operational in 2010. Additionally, the Delhi Metro was expanded to accommodate more people and boost the use of public transport during the 2010 Games. The Metro has extended to Gurgaon and the Noida area. For this large increase in the size of the network, Delhi Metro had deployed 14 tunnel boring machines. Radio frequency identification was used to tag vehicles in venue parking lots to help organize mass parking and increase security. Indira Gandhi International Airport was modernized, expanded, and upgraded, costing nearly $1.95 billion. Terminal 3 has increased airport passenger capacity to more than 37 million passengers a year by 2010. A new runway has been constructed, allowing for more than 75 flights an hour. At more than 4,400 meters long, it is one of Asia's longest. The airport has been connected to the city via a six-lane expressway and the $580 million Delhi Airport Metro Express Line. Green Games the organizers signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the United Nations Environment Programme to show the intention to host a sustainable games and to take the environment into consideration when constructing and renovating venues. Thaya Garage Stadium is intended to be a key example of environmentally considered construction. In opposition to this intention, a number of environmental controversies arose and the adverse ecological impact of various aspects of the games have been protested by city residents. City residents filed a public interest petition to the Supreme Court of India against the felling of heritage trees in the Siri Fort area to make way for games facilities. The court appointed architect Charles Correa to assess the impact, and he severely criticized the designs on ecological grounds. In spite of this, in April 2009 the Supreme Court allowed the construction on the grounds that much time had been lost and the damage already caused to the environment could not be undone. The Commonwealth Games Village, located on the flood plains of the Amuna, has also been the subject of controversies about the flouting of ecological norms. After a prolonged legal battle between city residents and the state, Construction was permitted to continue on the basis of an order of the Supreme Court of India in July 2009, which held that the government had satisfied the requirements of due process of the law by issuing public notice of its intention to begin construction work in September 1999. Other Preparation in preparation for an influx of English-speaking tourists for the Games, the Delhi government implemented a program to teach English and the necessary skills for serving tourists, to key workers, such as cab drivers, security workers, waiters, porters, and service staff. In the two years prior to the Games 2000 drivers were taught English. In addition to Delhi, the Indian government plans to expand the program to teach people in local tourist destinations in other parts of India, to facilitate hassle-free sightseeing in Delhi. Delhi Tourism undertook the launch of India's very first hop-on-hop-off bus known as Ho-Ho Delhi, modelled on popular concept of transport facilities in Western countries. 
The bus, which is equipped with state-of-the-art technologies like digital video screens and GPS systems, also had train guides who were responsible for giving information about the sites, to prepare for the energy usage spike during the games and to end chronic power cuts in Delhi. The government undertook a large power production initiative to increase power production to 7,000 megawatts. To achieve this goal, the government streamlined the power distribution process, direct additional energy to Delhi, and constructed new power plants. In addition to physical preparation, free accommodation for all athletes at the Games Village, as well as free transport and other benefits, such as a free trip to the famed Taj Mahal and a reserved lane for participants on selected highways was provided. The Games Village will house over 8,000 athletes and officials for the Games. Indian states will train state police forces to handle tourist-related issues and deploy them prior to the Games. A large-scale construction and beautification project has resulted in the demolition of hundreds of homes and the displacement of city dwellers. At least 100,000 of New Delhi's 160,000 homeless people have removed from shelters, some of which have been demolished. Bamboo screens have been erected around city slums to separate visitors from the sites of the slums, a practice which human rights campaigners have deemed dishonest and immoral. The Delhi High Court implemented a series of mobile courts to be dispatched throughout Delhi to relocate migrant beggars from Delhi streets. The mobile courts would consider each beggar on a case-by-case -case basis to determine whether the beggar should be sent back to his slash her state of residence, or be permitted to remain in government shelters. Motto The official motto for the 2010 Commonwealth Games is Come Out and Play. It was chosen to represent the invitation of the athletes from the Commonwealth member countries to participate in the Games and achieve success as well as the call of the Indian people to support their country's hosting of the Games. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?